uh, this is a continuation of uh, Visalia, California Airport, uh, March 31st, 11.42 a.m. And there was just a turboprop departure. And it was interesting because the wind is still blowing from the north, north, uh, and uh, the departure was on the, hang on, I'm gonna check this from the opposite direction. Everybody's landing on 3-0, but this departure was on the 1-2, uh, taking off on the 1-2 runway. So I guess the wind is so light, it's really not a factor. Normally, of course, as everyone knows, you land into the wind and take off with the wind coming at you. So I don't know why, probably, once again, the wind was not that much of a factor. I'm checking flight radar. Uh, There's a Beechcraft King Air. Uh, looks like it's heading to Visalia. Uh, it's at 1,675 feet, 222 knots from Porterville to Pinedale. Actually, Porterville would be uh, south of here, southeast, near the foothills of the Sierras, so uh, it must have just taken off, it says Porterville to Pinedale, 223 knots. Uh, there's a Frontier flight which is just southwest of Visalia from Ontario to Sacramento. It's in, um, I didn't know they had Ichabod the Whooping Crane livery, but that's what it says Ichabod the Whooping Crane livery Frontier flight 92751. Departed Ontario 28 minutes ago. It's arriving in Sacramento in 30 minutes. It's an A320 and uh, it's at 37,975 feet, ground speed 375 knots. Just southwest of Visalia, maybe, I'm guessing maybe 30 miles southwest. And then uh, northwest of Visalia is a uh, private Cirrus SR-22 at 22, 2,225 feet, 121 knots. And that, that one took off from Santa Rosa, in the Bay Area. Okay, there is a uh, King Air, uh, Super King Air actually, at 5,800 feet that's headed for Visalia. That one took off at, uh, San from San Diego 59 minutes ago, and it's due in Visalia in six minutes. Ground speed 247 knots, so let's try to find that one. And then I think I'll wrap up this for today. I will shoot more in Visalia. I'll try to get here early 
so we can get the morning departures. Let's keep our eyes out for that King Air. Let me just swing around. Should be coming in any any minute, few minutes. Just so you know a little bit about the area, there's uh, east of Visalia. There's a lot of orange groves, a lot of orange uh, crops there. Beautiful smell in the springtime. Uh, Actually, though, the wit, I think the orange harvest is in the winter months, so I shouldn't say spring, but there's a beautiful smell from the orange blossoms, and that's just uh, east of uh, Visalia in a city, near a city called Exeter, and I'm trying to think of some other landmarks that might be noteworthy. They're uh, kind of between... Uh, Visalia and uh, Porterville, there's a field called Sequoia Field. It's historic because it was used for Army Air Corps training in World War II. There's an old, an old tower there. I don't know. I haven't been there in years. I don't know if it's still around, but uh, I'm thinking about going over there and shooting that too. There is private traffic at that airport. And then uh, there's another airport near here that I'd like to show you. It's Woodlake. Uh, that one is, it's a small little general aviation airport, but real popular with local pilots. They fly in there for breakfast. So that might be fun to see some of the private aircraft landing and talk to some of the pilots, talk about their experiences. So that, that's another possibility. Still looking for the King Air. sun is starting to come out. There it is. Well, there's a general aviation aircraft. Uh, it looks single engine piston. Let me see if I can get that one. Just coming around to get into the pattern. The trees you see there are olive trees. There are olives on there. There it is. I think it's a twin, not a single engine. It's a piston twin. We're still waiting for the King Air. Let me see if I can find it on flight radar. The King Air, uh, they, it's at about pattern altitude. It's at 700, 1,700 feet and 154 knots. It's got to be coming in any minute. I, 
I mentioned the olive trees. I'm allergic to olive trees. There's a lot of a lot of pollution here for various reasons, which I'll explain when I have time. But uh, that's the one downside of living here. Here comes the King Air. Nope, it's a single engine. Um, as I said in some other videos, uh, it's a pretty decent place to live despite the drawbacks. And uh, there, but there is air pollution because of the geographic location. We're kind of hemmed in be, by the Sierras and uh, you know lowland area. Uh, we don't get the clearing out of the air that the Bay Area gets. Dust of Visalia at uh, 26,000 feet is a Southwest Flight 2205 from San Diego to Sacramento, 737-8, uh, arriving in Sacramento in 36 minutes, 408 knots. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up for today here, and uh, I'll come back to Visalia to get some of the morning departures. Okay, there's a takeoff. And then uh, we'll continue this at Visalia so you get more of a flavor. There actually is a lot more traffic than this. Uh, some pretty substantial private jet traffic. Um, there's warehouse and distribution centers near here. And I assume that some of those aircraft are uh, employees of those companies coming in to check on their facilities here. Obviously the proximity to Highway 99 is advantageous in the central part of California. So that's why these warehouses and distribution centers are located here. Well, thank you for watching and uh, I will be coming back to Visalia to shoot some more and let me know how you like the video. I think I can get one more departure. Yeah, that's FedEx.
it just tucked behind the uh, trees over there. It should. Sorry for the phone call. I don't know if you can hear it. There goes FedEx. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for today and uh, appreciate your watching. Please hit the like button if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.